under other old business. Uh, last night we had uh, from SAU 90, I don't keep me here any more than necessary, but we did not vote on Article 2, which was a union contract for um, SAU 90 because there were some questions uh, which Nathan dutifully responded to very timely this afternoon. We all got a copy of that via email. We all had a chance to chew on it, digest it, and assimilate it into our collective thinking, right? So uh, are we ready for a motion on this? Uh, if we do a motion, I like discussion. Well, all right. I'll, I'll motion move. to recommend, please. I'll move. Thank you, Mr. Warburton, and seconded by Mr. Pluff. Oh, you changed oh, change a little round today. Got to be flexible on that. Well, let me just offer, and I, I think Jerry's had questions, but I need to make a comment. Um, the old adage is, wait till somebody votes on an issue before you start throwing uh, arrows at people. I received no less than eight memos, or whatever you want to call it, last night. Unbelievable scathing from people in this audience and people in the schools. Let me remind, because I know the administration doesn't seem nobody's either told or they don't want to hear it. And by the way, good evening, uh, Superintendent Murphy. I know you said hello to some people. But here's the problem that I have. For many years in this community, I was on every school addition committee. I supported every collective bargaining contract. I still support every collective body contract. I have supported additions. I have supported anything the schools have done. And a, a lesson to be learned, and I plan on voting for this tonight, by the way, as I always have. And a, and a message to people in the schools, especially because we're on to the schools tonight, I, I really am offended that people that have known me would think for once. And, and, the, and I had three texts that people said, how dare you vote against this last night? Did they watch the meeting? We didn't vote. All we did was ask, which has never been asked of the business administrator because it's just been flown by every year, is for more information, which I complimented Mr. Lenny tonight. I'm just really put out. I, I am voting for these. I think the public should vote for these. And by the way, not once have I ever said or anybody that the CESPA folks don't do a great job. So let's get off that horse. I'm very much in favor, and I didn't appreciate and I'm a big, I got thick skin, but I think the public needs to know I'm a fair guy, and I wholeheartedly endorse these contracts. But a little, a little reminder to people, don't be go, going throw stones before a vote's taking place. That's not how it usually works. So I wholeheartedly endorse these, and I plan on voting for them, as I always have. Thank you. Any other discussion on this article? Right, I, I have comments. Mr. Zanoy. Yeah. I got a spare copy of this from <laughs> Nate, because I love my Markup coffee at all. Coffee at home, but... I looked it over uh, as carefully as I could in the time given. And in this, in this uh, CESPA business, what, what uh, drove this? Was the contract coming to an end? Is that what it is? Because we're, we're, introducing, we're introducing costs to the town. We're introducing a dental plan. We're introducing a health opt-out plan, which means costs to pay out. We're introducing paid holidays. We're introducing increased salaries and wages. On the screen. We're introducing steps to be uh, expanded, right? There's a four steps today, four steps. Yes. And you're going, we're going to have eight steps or thereabouts. How many steps go up? We're going to. We're going to keep four, Jerry. We're going to each year when we create a smaller step of 175, we're going to drop a step so that so we can have four <coughs> steps. keep four steps right along. But you can see those, like I said last night, those steps are just over 5%, each right. of them now. They're 90 cents, uh, roughly, from 1542 to 1632 no, to 1723, um, But But they were bigger steps as a result of the transition from 10 to 7 to 4. They're bigger steps than we wanted uh, to I, keep. I've looked at the steps. Yeah. They are a step, that, for instance, you know, they, by category, they vary a little bit. Because right. you have four categories. How many categories are you going to have here? The categories will stay the same. There'll still be the four. Four, because I, I, I see two two categories being spelled out. I didn't know if you dropped from four to two. But uh, but the difference, in the, the steps have got a five from step one to two currently, or well, at least what's in here. Currently, just, yes, sir. Between step one and two, there's a 5.8% increase. Between two and three, there's a 5.6% increase. Between step three and four is 5.2 percent. 
looking at the new proposals, uh, if what we're what we're doing is elevating now the steps by one and a half percent, I would presume. It's taking the one point seven five, and you're elevating that. That none of those steps will change. So the current steps stay the same. There's no elevation. No elevation. The people at the top move to the next step, the new one, which is 175. The people that are in the grid get whatever has already been there, and then we drop off the bottom so that we don't end up with eight steps at the end. We only end up with the same. So we're not adding one point. Okay. No, no compounding there. I mean, uh, we're not we're just taking over, what's here from a percentage step point of view. Correct. We're not adding at 1.75 to it no. each step. No, because the steps of 90 cents, roughly, they were already f over 5%, so we didn't add anything to those steps. But on the new steps, you're saying? But the new steps will be 1.75 higher than the previous year. Why, why are we so driven to eliminate the lower step all the time? One of the conversations around the table was that... Don't we plan to bring on people in the future? We uh, do, but one of the conversations was how much of a delta is there in skill set uh, based on one year of experience, two years, three, four, we started at the beginning of the previous contract with 10 steps and management came in with a conversation that we wondered out loud with the union, is there really a difference in the, in the benefit of experience in these roles between three years or five years or seven years and 10 years? And, and the agreement was no. And so we <coughs> reduced it from 10 to seven and then to four because four seemed to be a, an agreed upon um, growth curve, if you will, learning curve. There, well, there, 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 there are new people, yeah. there are new people, but within two or three years, they have become accomplished at that function. So we didn't go, with, we didn't go without steps. I mean, that, that might have been part of the conversation, but we didn't end up without steps. We ended up with four, and so we didn't want to give up the four. Who established the steps in terms of the pay associated with each step? The uh, one, two, three, nine people sitting around the table in bargaining, CESPA and and board reps and, and, and administration. You know, I, I, I feel that that jobs should be evaluated by companies who do this for a living. Companies should weigh those positions, determine their complexity, hazards, if there's any hazards, weights that they lift, security issues, come up with point totals that, that reflect what that job should pay. And, and have a range, mid max, okay, or mid, midpoint max. I don't believe people sitting around the table should be developing ranges. That's my opinion. I've said this before. I say it for the janitors, I say it for the food people, I say it for these people. It should be people who do it for a living, evaluate the job that's being done, determine its complexity. It's required skill set, any hazards, any toxic chemicals, any, anything. And they add points as they go along and then they total up the points and they determine what this job <coughs> should pay. Okay, thank you. And I think that, that that hasn't been done here or it hasn't been done in a couple of other places as well. And I think that puts us, this SAU 90 at the town at a disadvantage. When we start, we start talking about uh, paying 18 and 9, the average, I looked at the, uh, what you're paying here in this spreadsheet. Sorry. The average wage is eight, more than it is $18.31. That's the eight. top of the scale, but the majority of them at this point have I moved mean, the to the top. 20, yes, sir. 23 of them out of the 30 <coughs> are at that top set. Yes. Are $18.31. Yes, sir. And, and uh, that's about 60, 60 plus percent of the, of the total. And, I don't know, we're gravitating, we're, this, this river is swift, it's swiftly moving, and these costs are going to just continue to carry us. Every year we're going to be adding costs, and, and I see what you're adding in here. In year one, 1920, which is what this is, it's, it's 37246 By the way, where is that in the book, Nate? Is that in the front, summarized anywhere? In the budget book, no, because this is a the separate Warren article. It's Warren article number oh, two, and none article. of those costs are Sorry. included in the budget. Sorry. Yes, sir. Sorry. The baseline, the the big, the, the, the legal size spreadsheet you've got, yeah. those costs, that's, are, that's in the budget. I mean, it's on multiple pages because there's some regular right. and special. Right, this is the way it is today. The, but that's consolidating it all on one, yeah. on one total comp worksheet. That's the way it is now, and so that's. 
Most of these people are working six and a half hours a day. Or Most six, of them? Six, six, seven, six, or six or six and three quarter. And, How long and do the teachers work? Nate? Seven. Seven? Well, I mean, they work. Try 15. Yeah, try. <laughs> <laughs> They're compensated. I mean, it's based on seven. When we submit to the retirement system, it's seven. seven but, hours. Yeah, but that's. Uh, and, and part of motivation here was that were they complaining that they were here 15 minutes longer than they should have been? We had a concern because at the academy, the day has grown longer over the over the life of the preceding contract because we just have a bell that's ringing earlier in the day and the kids are starting the day earlier. The ending hasn't really changed, but the beginning of the day has has uh, has advanced. And so, practically speaking, we had paras who were working a full day, but they weren't being compensated anywhere near it. So, um, I wish I had sat on this board. Well, we. We made adjustments to the food service uh, when we worked on it so together, exactly. and we appreciate that. I, I, you know, well, I mean, so I mean oh, I'm with your board, school board. Oh, I thought you said that. I'm school board in terms, because I was on the wage and salary for the teachers. But, yes, sir. We'll sign up. And I think that one worked out quite well. It was yeah. a five-year pack, was it five years? Four. Four. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really very uncomfortable, very, very uncomfortable with the bottom line here. We're adding costs to the town again. We're not freezing ourselves. We got. Are we bearing any debt yet from this new school? Yes, your debt yeah. service has been added to the budget. It was added in last year's budget. It's all in there. It's in there. So yes. we're paying appropriate debt now. Well, that's. <laughs> we're paying the debt you full boat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Paying full the debt debt. service. Yes. Yeah. 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 Correct. Twenty-five years. Right. Yes. Right. And uh, so I, I looked at it, and you know. I made an assumption when I was looking at it. I, so my math isn't correct here, but they were adding the one, the uh, the steps were elevating themselves by yeah. one point. And I understand because seven frequently, five frequently, <laughs> the scale movement works. But yeah. in this case, we only moved the one seven five at the top because of the steps were already what they were. No, said Troy. Yes. Right. Anybody else? Questions, statements. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Frank. Mr. Sorry. I just want to clarify something for. Uh, Jerry, that we're looking at a 1.75% increase, which relates to a 31 cent in 31.7 cent increase per hour, two dollars and fourteen cents a week. The cost of living for Social Security today, effective January 1st, was 2.85. These people make less less than Social Security, all right? We're looking at an average salary on a thick, we, we, we tried to basically equalize the day at Hampton Academy because we extended that time frame for core courses. We're looking at a base salary of, for the highest level of around 21, 22,000. Now, we have people working, okay, that can make much more money elsewhere, all right? So I, I think we're beating this thing to death for a lousy $2 a week. Okay, thank you, Frank. Anything else? I make a motion that we pass. Anybody else? We already dated the motion. Anybody else have any comments? Frank, I, I, I Frank you're not suggesting that. <coughs> I'm sorry? You're not suggesting that these people are being offered too little and we should vote no, are you? No. Okay. I think I was on the negotiations. I think that, you know, it was a win-win for us. I know that there's, you know, we're... No was a sufficient answer, Frank. Yes. Yeah. All right. We're all set and ready to vote, I'd right? I'd like to comment that, Frank, with overhead, that moves you up around 22, 23, 24 thousand a year, with overhead. All these benefits over here. Payroll FIS, taxes. Work, uh, t t unemployment, life, LTD, health, total benefits, about 12 percent over their base wages. Thank you, Mr. Zanoy. Anybody else? Thank you, everybody. All those in favor of recommending uh, this more article, please raise your hands. That would be everybody except Jerry, who is voting. No. No. Got that, Barbara? So that's uh, one no, the rest affirmative. Thank you. So that would be a Thank seven, you for coming in. I didn't one. think we'd be needed, but I'm glad you did come in. 7-1. With the vote. Seven, seven in favor, one opposed. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Nancy. Okay.